All right, Iron Man or perhaps Iron Deficiency Man. Now, Robert Downey Jr. is encouraging us to eat fake steaks. Now, we've had near beer in the past. Uh, we now have apparently fake steak. Now, there's an Israeli company called Chunk Foods, which has raised now $15 million uh, to build a plant uh, to build whole cuts of fake meat. Now, Robert Downey Jr. has contributed from his so-called Footprint Coalition uh, Venture Capital Firm. Their steaks are made from fermented soy and wheat products. Uh, they advertise their project as delicious, succulent, and a tender piece of meat. I remain unconvinced, however. You know, definitely it's false advertising calling a fake steak a piece of meat. Uh, in his uh, book, In Defense of Food, the author Michael Pollan calls these food-like substances, which I completely agree. A 2022 study in applied food research found that testing plant-based meat alternatives revealed that the nutrients simply just don't match those of real meat. They're not even close. They typically also find that these products contain uh, rapeseed, also known as canola oil, soybean oil, coconut oil, sunflower oil. Most of these seeds are or often can be highly inflammatory. They're prone to oxidation and they can lead to subsequent heart disease. Uh, wheat gluten, the key ingredient in this uh, product, uh, has been textured. It's a problem for estimated 6% of a population that is completely gluten intolerant. Uh, is it any better just because Robert Downey Jr. is funding it? Uh, well, he hasn't made the best choices in years past. I mean, just a few months ago, he was out there promoting uh, eating bugs, right? So he's been, remember, he's been arrested multiple times on multiple drug charges, ranging from cocaine, heroin, marijuana. He spent six months in the LA County lockup uh, after missing a court date. He was sentenced to three years as a substance abuse facility. And yeah, you know, in his defense, he grew up where his kid, his father, uh, let him smoke pot apparently at, a, at, a, at the age of six, so probably uh, encouraging somewhat of a drug habit. So there's maybe some, what of a redemption story there. But regardless, we probably shouldn't be taking nutritional advice from Hollywood celebrities, right? So anyway, let's remember that real meat According to a research paper from 2021 uh, in the journal Foods, where authors have stated that meat is a source of high quality proteins, minerals, and vitamins, and other compounds difficult to obtain in sufficient amounts from other sources. The current available research is inconclusive and does not support that meat consumption as a part of healthy diets increases any risk of disease. So anyway, I will not be partic part participating in uh, the fake steak. Uh, I still think Robert Downey uh, Jr. Is, is a good actor, uh, but I'm not going to take any nutrition advice from him or many of the other celebrities are out there pitching you products. Remember, this is all about making money. It is not about saving the environment. It is not about uh, saving animals. It is purely greed, virtue signaling, and so on and so forth. And Robert Downey Jr. and many other other favorite celebrities are not immune to this. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the, in the uh, comments. Are you going to take advice from him and eat fake steak and bugs or are you going to stick with the real stuff? Anyway, we'll see you soon.